welcome everybody uh, to this training in this module I'll be talking about descriptive programming and I'll be talking about an example on descriptive programming okay so uh, over here if you actually hold on if you go to this site right americangold.co.uk right over here these are all there are certain links over here each link has a certain number in front of it okay so how do you extract all these numbers I want to extract all these numbers and I want to check whether the total of these numbers is 91 or not it's listed over here that 91 products are found so under the brand section not under the other sections okay I want to extract the number okay for only these links under the brand section and total out them and check whether 91 is the output or not okay right now to do so I can use first of all I can use object spy and I'm assuming you have seen the descriptive pro uh, the basic descriptive programming tutorials and the VB scripting tutorials over here right so uh, over here if I spy if I look at the first link right the first link has the class refinement count the number if I look at the number in front of the second link the class is refinement count so all these links the numbers basically the numbers they have the class refinement count so if I extract the objects from the page which have the ref class refinement count I can extract these numbers but the problem is that the problem is if you scroll down you will see that the other sections handicap gender okay the numbers over here also have the same class refinement count okay right so all these numbers over here have the same class refinement count right okay so what you need to do right what you need to do you need to extract them but you cannot extract them with the class because the class for these numbers is also same you just want limited numbers you want the numbers inside the brand section so finding a common property over here will not work the other strategy which I taught you was that you can look out for the outer box okay in this case let us look out for an outer box in which all the brand links are present okay if you move your mouse carefully and slowly you will find that hold on yes <coughs> this is the outer box this is the outer box having all the links right and each link has a number in front of it okay so if you look at this okay the class is refinement brand fine and suppose I write over here I can get this box and get the numbers inside this box it's very easy let me extract the page first the page is nothing but browser hold on okay so this is your page right inside the page okay you have to get right you have to get inside the page you have to get a web element it's a web element whose class is equal to refinement brand right take the result in a variable say set um, you can say the box the outer box which we talked about right so we have extracted the box this way okay we have extracted this box inside this box I want the elements I want all the elements with the class refinement count I can do this right so for that we'll have to use descriptive programming I'll have to create a description okay the make class 
for the description would be what would be a web element okay after this okay after this you can write the class of the element right the sorry the class what is the class refinement count okay the class of the element is refinement count right and then you can extract the object from the page object equals to from the box you get the child objects which match my description so this obj object will have all the numbers right if i write over here total numbers found obj dot count you can print and the moment you run this okay there is some object creation time colon equals to zero okay all right and when you run this it runs and it prints that total elements which are found are 14 okay so whenever you run this it will print 14 only okay and if you look at this i think there are 14 links yes there are 14 links and i can print the value of each and every count as well i can write for i equals to 0 to obj dot obj dot count minus 1 because i am starting from 0 that's why i'm going minus 1 so it will iterate over each and every number okay and, and you can write print obji the if object dot get ro property remember this function okay and generally in the ro property inner text the text is present remember i had taught you earlier about this function All right so when you run this code in the output you will see that this you see that in the output total numbers found are 14 and it is printing all the numbers now you need to add up these numbers you need to remove these brackets okay right so how do you do this right so this is my number i'll just write n equals to this right now what i'll do is that i'll split n okay I'll split the number n on the basis of opening bracket. Right. Take a result in a temporary array. Right. What am I what am I getting? Let, let's take a practical example. What am I getting? I'm getting a number n equals to something like 14 or some written something like this. So what I can do is that I can split the number n on the basis of opening bracket. I'll get a certain result. The result I'll take it in a temporary array. Right. If I write over here print temp zero. Okay, and if I run this from line number nineteen, I'm running it from line number nineteen. And the output which you will get is uh, it'll print blank because when you're splitting on the basis of opening bracket, the first index would be blank and the second index just a minute i'll remove this and again run this you see that first is blank in second it's printing 14 with a closing bracket so what i'll do is that i'll split again the second element on the basis of closing bracket get the result in temp array again and in temp 0 now i will have my number okay if i run this from line number 19 so you'll see that uh, okay i'll take, take it in temp 1 All right so anyways it's locked so no problems so over here you see that you get the number so even if i add any number in between okay it doesn't matter it will always give me the number by the end right if i run this see that fine so you get the number this way okay 
you get the number this way and what I can do is I'll comment this part and I will copy it here okay now when I run this code when I run this code it will extract the elements and you see that it's printing only the numbers now now I want to add these numbers okay I want to add and check the total of these numbers now one thing guys when you extract a number from an application okay if you're if you're extracting a number from an application the number will always be read as a string this 14 is not an integer it is a string it is something like if I write x equals to 14 and y equals to 15 okay if I write print x plus y over here and then run it from line number 26 okay it will not give you 29 it will not add x and y it will concatenate both of them if you want to add these strings all a number read from an application will always be a string if you want to add these strings you will have to convert these strings to integers by using c int okay right now you run this from line number 21 after converting them you will be able to add it see that it's printing 29 so the same thing over here the number in temp 10 is actually a is a string okay, it's read from the application right you will have to convert it to an integer okay so I'll write n underscore integer number is c int c int function converts the string to an integer but make sure the string is actually a number if it is I cannot convert a b or c to an integer okay it should be a actually a number only right so now you will have inside n int okay you will actually have the integer the integer number okay if I run this the output would look same but you will have the integer number now you need to add all these numbers it's pretty simple okay the logic is pretty simple to add all these numbers you have to assume in the beginning of the loop that the sum is 0 okay and over here you can write sum equals to sum plus n underscore end so what will happen is that okay sum will keep on updating itself every time the loop runs sum will keep on updating itself right when the loop runs for the first time right let's assume when the loop runs for the first time 0 would be the sum so 0 will be added with 14 okay the number is 14 right so the sum will become 14 when the loop runs for the second time right the sum would be 14 14 will be added with the next integer which is 14 again right so the sum will become 28 so on so forth when the loop runs for the third time the sum would be 28 which will be added with 12 over here okay and the sum would become 40 so this way the numbers they will keep on adding with each other and they will keep on updating right the sum will keep on updating itself right and you can by the time loop ends after end, ending the loop you can write sum is and you can print the sum and when you run this now you will get the sum of all these numbers okay look you cannot just do these things directly you'll have to look at the VB scripting videos and all that stuff okay right so if you look at the output sum is 91 okay which is correct which is written over here yeah Shanti okay fine yes you know yes hold on hold on I'll clear this C int you know you can use C int if I write x equals to 15 this is a string if I want to convert this string to an integer you can use C int okay 
but make sure that this is an integer if i write a b c in between and if i run this it will it will not run you have it it has to be a pure number right this is an integer now if i want to convert it back to a string i can use the function cstr x y equals to cstr convert to string Convert to int, convert this 14 to an integer, x becomes an integer, convert to string, convert this 14 to an, a string, y will become a string. Okay, right, so this is how it works, fine, okay.